make it to open up the oyster. And a lot of that energy is expended by thinking about having to hold on to the knife. And what happens if there is a slip on the handle, that can initiate a bit of an injury, which I've done before. I've put the knife in my hand about 80 times, 14 stitches. So I try not to anymore. That's where I wear a fancy glove. That was me on these. But uh, there it is, is going, why did I ever do this? <laughs> so what I, what I like this. Oops, that's gone in all the way. Because sometimes it happens that way. Sorry, ladies. It's always a first time. You want to be a little longer, but you have premature shuckulation. <laughs> Sorry, let's try another oyster. Sorry, I'm like... No! <laughs> so, you go back to the hinge. You put your little oyster knife in, you wiggle it back and forth until it sets. So it's gone in again. So it sets like this, and all you're doing is turning the oyster, then you pry it open, and right here you'll see where the, addu the adductor muscle is stuck to the top shell, like this. You come in across the oyster and you scrape it, like this. And then you turn the oyster and you scrape across the bottom. That's it, sort of in a nutshell, very quickly. I show this on the video, it's, it's something you can go back to time and time again, it's easier. And you always hold the knife in a very natural